hi everyone this is glitty gem i'm back i'm gonna do an eyeshadow tutorial with the infallible pinks so this time we're gonna try 19 shades and the reason i say is because these infallible paints come with two colors so i'm gonna do some swatches on my arm so you can see how pigmented they are and then i'm gonna go ahead and do a look of them on my eye so starting um i'm gonna start with this color this color here is called let me get closer real infallible paints number 306 in the color brb blue i got this one at walmart for four dollars okay and uh this is my number one choice that i like to wear i've gotten a lot of compliments on this shadow for my eyes so i'm going to go ahead and do a swatch on one end it has like a like a silvery blue color and they come in this um dough applicator okay so i'm gonna swatch it here my first color and it comes on real smooth and creamy and I would choose these over any of the powdered sh shadows. Now the next color here also has a doe foot applicator. And I will swatch that one next to this blue silvery one. And they're very pigmented as well. They actually look like paints. Artist, artistic paints the next color that's my second favorite is this one here called L'Oreal infallible paint 304 navy yard okay starting with the light shade these have like shimmers in them some of them um, don't have shimmers but they're creamy this one has a more flat tipped end I'm sure what the difference was between this one and the doe foot one I'm not sure what the difference was but this one has a more has a dual flat tipped end which also makes it easier for you to put on let's watch it here okay the next color i am going to show you is this navy blue color it also has a flat tipped end. I didn't notice that until I'm looking at it now that the tips are flat. Okay, let's swatch that one here. That's the navy blue. They're real creamy and smooth, like I mentioned already. So, I'll go ahead and do this one here. Next is called. Three oh eight Aqua Aurora. Sorry, Aqua Aura. Yeah. Okay, starting with the lighter color. This one does have a doe foot applicator. I'm not sure what the difference was in the why some have a flat like they're flat tipped applicators and this one some of them have dough applicators okay so watch it here okay so doe foot The next one is 309 Mint Detox. Okay, I'm going to do the lighter shade first. This one also comes in a flat applicator. 
starting to notice that some of these have flat applicators and the other ones have dough applicators. I don't know what the reason for that is. Those come on creamy. I keep saying that. Okay, and I'm gonna try the other side. How beautiful those colors are. The next one I'm going to show is 320 brown sugar. Okay, I'm going to do the light side first. And these two come in a dough applicator. Okay, the next shade I'm gonna try to swatch. 314 Sunset Fire. Going in with the lighter shade. It also has, this one has a flat tip. Watch that on. The next one I have is the three eighteen nude fishnet. Try the lighter side. This one also comes in a doe foot applicator. Okay, I'm gonna try this one on. And these tend to dry pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the test where when they try to come off, it's not, it's kind of difficult to get that off. Well, I guess that was a lighter shade. Okay, two more of these duo paints. Let's do the, the white one first, the white shimmer. This is also a flat applicator. This is the yellow. Okay. The last one I have three sixteen cool ivory. Starting with the lighter shade. It also comes in a dough applicator. Okay, so those are all the swatches. I'm going to show you close up. Okay, love them colors, they're very vibrant, they're pigmented. I prefer these than the powdered shadows, but they're really hard to work with when you put them on. So I'm gonna try to smear this. They're still not dry yet, 
but when they dry, they stay on. They're like, um, they, they stay on, they don't come off. And you don't need any eyeshadow primer to put these on. So I'm gonna smudge this and see if it smudges. Oh my God, look at that. The only ones that smudged were the very last ones because they had because they they didn't have a uh, the very last ones smudged because there wasn't enough time to dry and so they smudged. But look, look how how they stay. I mean, it's really hard to get these off. These are still kind of wet. Yeah, I love them. I get a lot of compliments when I use these shadows. So I'm going to try them on my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to get this off and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So on this one, the BRB Blue, how I um, wear it is I wear the lighter shade on my lid and then I wear the darker shade on the side. That's the look I create with this one. And it applies smoothly. And then there's times that you might have to dab it in. Might not. And on the other, my other eye, I'm going to go ahead and put the darker blue. See how good it gets in, into the lid and into the little nooks and crannies of your eye. So there goes the dark blue on this side. This is the this is the silver the silver side of the shadow, which I like a lot. So now I'm gonna put some of this blue on this corner of how I would normally wear it. You gotta be careful because I'm just gonna dab it on and then you have to use your finger to smooth it out. And I only go in like maybe a quarter ways in and then I just smooth it out. Because if you put some of if you put the, the lighter shade at the bottom and it gets into the crease, it, you, you're gonna get paint up here. So yeah, you have to really work these work these correctly. Work these in correctly. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just dabbing, dabbing that darker blue shade. And if I'm not happy with the consistency of the color, and yeah, I'll get it in the crease too, the darker blue. So to give me like that, um, where it fades into the silver part of the eye and I get a lot of compliments on this eyeshadow when I wear a light blue shirt so I am going to dab a little bit more but closer towards the crease because I'm not getting enough paint on my eyelid well my crease or the side of my eye I'm dabbing that in and there's I have not wearing any primer and this dries pretty quickly so. so this is how it looks this is the end result That's wearing it single, and this side is wearing it with both colors. Look how vibrant and beautiful that looks. It just looks like it turns into powder right away, right? Okay, going to the next color, which is Navy Yard. I'm going to go with the lighter color first. And I'm going to show you how it looks just wearing it. 
<clears throat> by itself. <clears throat> And I'm going to do the other side also with the navy blue, how it would look by itself. And like I said, you don't want to get too much to where the lid will touch your eye like this and then you'll get some color at the top. You don't want to do that. You just want to put some on. And you want you want to let it dry. You can put as much or as very little as you want. See, here's a light eye, and here's a dark eye. Okay, so the way I would I would wear this is I would wear the darker shade out on the outer corner, like I did on the light blue one. So yeah, I'll dab some color in on the outer corner, going a quarter ways, maybe maybe some even in the crease area. Okay, so and I'm gonna dab it in. But let me get some pro more product on there, cause it just doesn't seem like I got enough product on my on the applicator there. What I do is just work it out. Work it out, you dab it in, and you work it out. You work it in. See how light it's turning out to be? I'm going to make it darker. This one just seems to be coming on pretty light. I think it's drying pretty quickly as well. Yeah, this one you have to really work the product in. You really have to take time to work it in, which I'm willing to do. So, it kind of almost feels like I'm running out of this shade. but I had a backup one. So most of these shades, as y'all seen in my previous video, on, on my Anything Goes video, I had bought some um, infallible paints at the 99 cent store. And so I had bought me some backups because I already had, already had some that I had bought from there, from a Walmart. But I bought backups of my favorite shades. So those are still not open. They're still sealed in their packaging. They're still sealed. They hadn't, the, the sticker has, had not been broken or anything. So like as this one, I can tell it's running out. It's trying to get a little patchy in certain areas. It's trying to look like a hot mess. But I'm gonna put I'm gonna go in with uh, some more pink to kind of bore out some of the blue on this end.
not sure how that turned out. <clears throat> I'm trying to do the best that I can. Because the blue did kind of tend to run a little bit further into the lid. Uh, more than what I wanted it to go into. But you can, that's the good thing about these. You can always correct them. Always correct them because they're creamy. They're just like artistic paints you can just like you can just go over any mistakes you've made conceal anything see I think that looks a little better okay so I'm gonna pause this video so we can go to the next color okay I'm back and the next one I'm gonna do is the agua aura Start with the light shade on this end. Okay. I'm going to do the darker shade on the other end. This is a pretty blue color. I like this blue color. Okay, so how, that's how they look single, when you put them on singly. Okay, I'm going to pour some on this side now. So you, you see my technique how I'm using these um, paints. I'm gonna go over some more with that light color because um, like I said it's getting into the lid where I want that light color to go and the dark color I just want it to be like in the outer corner crease line area that's where it needs to stay Spread some of that out. you see or do you see more of the blue shade in my lid I think it's toning down a little just add some more into that area and just fix it Get some in here, but I can always wipe that off. Okay, see, so here's the look. Look how vibrant that blue is. I love that vibrant blue, and look how it fades in together. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next color. So the next color that I have is Mint Detox. I 
I love that minty cream color. It's so pretty. So this is a look when you wear them single. See how when you close your eye, it goes into the crease. So you do not want that to happen. If anything, you just want to spread it out all over the eye. But I'm just showing you right now how it looks just single. Because if what you can do is just spread it out all the way to the top to the crease. Of course, you're going to need more product, but I'm just, I was just showing you how it looks by itself. Okay. As you can see, it's just a little patchy right there, but you see this how you how it looks by itself. Now I'm gonna put some of this uh, darker green on the other end and let it blend. I'm gonna let it blend with the other green. And and I'm using just the corner outer corner section and maybe here in the crease. I'm not going all the way because they are very pigmented. You do get a lot of color. So I'm going to try to create that effect. That where it blends in effect. Can you tell the difference, the two color difference? I can see it. I can make it darker. Yes, I put some in the crease because it um, looks like the bottom color is outweighing the top dark color so so I'm gonna put some on my crease see I want it to look darker which it's working it's working just gonna smooth it out using dabbing strokes and maybe strokes like this and dab Dabbing it. You might want to stroke when you get into your inner corner. You might want to just stroke up, and then once you start getting to the close to the center, you want to start dabbing. Okay. So now you see it's a little darker, more defined. So here's a finished look on that. Mint Detox. Okay, going to the next color. The next shade I'm going to use, Sunset Fire. Lighter shade at the bottom. Do the single version first. Left in there, but it's okay. The single version, and let's see. How the outer version looks. I mean, the outer, the darker.
This is a good orange color. I could use this for my multiple sclerosis video. But as you can see, that's the color. This one is more of a shimmery, light, tan, peachy color. And this one looks more like a neon, orangey color. So going in, in there on the other end to create that look that smoky. See, so this is how it looks before I start to spread it out. So stroke inwards towards the inner corner of your eye and then stroke back out going towards the middle and then start dabbing and dabbing the outer corner of your eye. That's a technique you should use. That's what I'm realizing it's much easier to use when you dab. Stroke inwards and then in the crease here start dabbing it in and dabbing it in. And there you have it. Okay, going with the next color. Okay, I'm going to use the, I don't think I showed you this one. It's called Jet Set Blonde. 312 Jet Set Blonde. Okay, going in with the lighter color. Okay, now going with the yellow on the other end. I know it's a little messy, but you can see this side and this side. Now I'm going to put this on my lid and on the side of my eye, corner of my outer, outer eye. And I'm dabbing it in to get some of that paint on there. Then I'm going to smear it out, smudge it out with my finger. So stroke inwards, and then once you get into the crease, start dabbing it in. Dab, dab, dab. And here you have the look. There you go. Okay, going on with the next color. Okay, the next color is Nude Fishnet. Do the lighter side. I'm going to do the shimmer side because they both are light. But I like to use the shimmer at the bottom. See my little pimple right there. I grew a pimple. Devastating. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the matte cream side, single on the other end. Okay, that's how they look. And I'm going to put this on this side too. Outer corner and into the crease see my technique now how to wear these take notes stroke inwards 
into the crease, start dabbing out. Dabbing in outwards towards the corner. And just dabbing that little corner in a quarter ways into the eyelid because you don't want to cover up the shimmer color. But you do want to have that darker nude matte on the on the top. That's how it looks. It looks, yeah, you can see the shimmer. Let's try the shimmer on the other end, see how that looks. <clears throat> so, outside corner, into the crease. Da you know, just dab some of that paint in there. Once you free, you got a significant amount of product on there. Stroke inward. And when you stroke back out into the, into the crease, to the middle of the crease, just start dabbing it out. Dabbing it out. I'm not sure there's too much of a difference, but I just wanted to try. See, it looks darker on the lid here, it looks lighter here, darker on the, uh, on the corner. You can see the shimmer here. So however, so whichever way you like to wear it, there you have it. And it's a pretty nude color, like you can barely tell you're wearing it. Right, so I'm gonna go with the next one. Last but not least, the brown sugar. Try the light one on this side. Okay. And I will try the brown, dark brown side. If you ever want to wear it single. Look how rich that color is. I'm going to have to kind of I don't want to use waste products. I'm going to have to kind of like smooth it out. Smooth it out. Okay. So here you have it. Got some on my eyelash there. But that's not the point. So I'm gonna try some of this dark. I'm gonna kind of get some less product because it is very pigmented and creamy. I'm gonna get some on my crease and then my outer corner. Okay, I think I might have overdid the crease, but I'm gonna try to my best to spread that color out. With the technique I've been telling you to do, which is stroke it inwards towards the corner, and then as you go out back into the crease, start dabbing it in. Dabbing it in. And I can always fix it if it doesn't look right. Stroke it into the corner of your eye. And stroke it back out. This way I have to stroke it, but you see how it's getting a lot into the corner and into the lid. But at least what you're trying to do is getting the color into the inner corner. And you want to have some of this dark color in the outer corner as well so as I can tell let me see if I can focus, if I can focus. camera focuses in on my eye I want to get rid of this line here by my brow bone and just dab you see there's more of a darker color on the corner 
which is fine. They're darker because you want it to be darker on the lid. I mean, on the outer corner. Um, but I'm not liking though is it's giving it a halo effect because of this dark color that I had when you have to stroke it inwards towards the corner, the inner corner. So I'm going to go back in there with the lighter shade to kind of even out the color, make it look. Make it look just like how I wanted it to look. And I'm dabbing it in because it's it's a creamy. And you just don't want to leave it not settled in correct. Not settled because when it dries, you're going to see areas of that lighter color which will not look like it's blended in with the darker color you want it to blend in with the darker color but at the same time you want your lighter shade on the lid not the darker shade the lighter shade i'm gonna go back in do it one more time I'm trying to get some of that dark brown out of the inner corner if i could just to have a little bit of it is fine, but I would rather have a lighter color. And they dry like powder, and they're very hard to come off. So it's very good to invest in this because it's two colors and it's cheap. I even got it at the 99 cent store. So I got a very good, I got my money's worth. Two for the price of one. There's the finished product. Okay, so those are all the colors. I'm glad you were, were able to watch my video and um, hope to see you again um, pretty soon. I hope to do another tutorial. And um, the next video I wanna try to do is the stroke awareness one. So I'm excited to do that as well. I've been doing my research on it. And I'm glad I got the infallible paints out of the way. And what else did we have in store that we wanted to do besides the stroke awareness? On the top of my head. I'll go ahead and put it in on the on a little text bar to see what, what else was in store for, for the next video, okay? Well, I'll see you next time. This is Glitzy Jim signing out. Bye, guys. Love you.